Hello, Rufflings, Sonic here, and welcome to another Final Cut 12 video. I know, it's been a long time since I made my last video, but I'm back, and I'm hopefully going to make it up to you this time. So today we're going to learn the basics of stop motion animations, and how to do a little bit of color correction here and there, and grouping pictures together and speeding them up. Now before we get started, I want to talk about how we make stop motion animations if it's new to you. As you can see on the screen, it's basically a bunch of pictures. So you have an object, and then every picture is a recording of the object moving. So you have one picture where the object is at one position, and then the next picture, the object is moved to the second position, and so on. So that's how we're basically going to make a stop motion animation. We're going to take a picture of an object, and then we're going to move it and take another picture until, well, you got your animation. And then we put it into a software like Final Cut Pro, speed it up, and get something cool. The first thing you want to do is import all your pictures to Final Cut Pro and then you're gonna notice once you put it on your timeline that every picture is 10 seconds long which is unbelievably slow. So hit these two buttons, Control and D, they're on the screen. Hit these two buttons and then it, this will let you um, change the duration of every picture. I'm gonna make my uh, pictures all one frame wrong so Control D and then I'm gonna hit 1. Now if you play your animation, it's gonna play it's gonna play fast and it's gonna look like your object's actually moving, which is cool. Another cool technique is to group your pictures together because in my case I don't really need to, but if you have an animation that's um pretty long with like a few hundred pictures and where every picture isn't really the same length, then you can group pictures together so that they act as different scenes. And to do this you hit two simple buttons again. That's option and G. So you select all the pictures you want to group. So in my case, I'm selecting all 18 pictures. And then I'm going to hit Option and G. Now let's talk about some of the advantages uh, for making a group file like this. Firstly, Final Cut Pro considers a group file as a video file. So in my case over here, I want to make my pictures move faster, but they're all one frame long. And that's the shortest you can make each picture. That, and I want them to be faster, but Final Cut Pro won't let me. So how do I fix this problem? How do I make my pictures faster? Well, there are, two, there are two possibilities for this. One, you can render out the entire region and re-import the video to Final Cut Pro. That's one option. The second option is to make a grouped file. Because Final Cut Pro gives it all the video privileges, it's, it, it's basically making a video, but you can go back and edit the pictures inside by double-clicking. The second advantage is that you can apply effects instead of applying effects to every single picture, which is uh, what you need to do in, in stop motions. Now you can group the pictures together and we'll apply effects to the group file instead of every single individual picture, which is very convenient. Now I have one last tip to show you. Alright, so in this picture, these two characters are supposed to be talking to each other while the car is moving. Well, I want to display all, I want to show the audience all of that just with one picture. Why? Because, well, I was too lazy to take multiple pictures. So how do we do this with just one picture? It's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to your crop options in your inspector menu and then click on the crop option and just select the parts of the pictures that are important. For example, the characters inside of the car to show the, to show the audience that you're actually in the car. Do not select any of the moving parts. For example, the, the jet engine at the back because it's supposed to move, the propeller is supposed to move. Or the wheels, the wheels are supposed to spin. I don't want to show all that because it's just one single frame, but it's supposed to create the effect of movement. Then click done, but nothing really changed other than zooming into the faces of the characters. Well, how do we show movement? That's simple. Go to your effects menu and search for handheld. This is a really handy, handheld, handy effect for you to use to basically create the impression of someone holding a camera. It's going to be shaky. The next thing you want to put in is Earthquake. This basically gives you the extremely shaky effect, and these two combined basically make the effect of movement. It looks like someone's filming um, these two talking on a bumpy in a car on a bumpy road. That's why the camera is shaking up and down all the time. So this creates a really cool effect, and well, from a single frame, we've created movement. So that's all I have here for today. That's all I have to show you. If you have enjoyed this video and learned something about stop motions, how to save time, how to group pictures together, then like this video, comment down below what you want to see next, and that's all I have to say. Bye. 